Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out the most requested mousetrap I've been asked to review by YouTube viewers. This is one of the most technologically advanced mousetraps available on the market. It's the Victor Brand Smart Kill Electronic Mousetrap. You notice I didn't put the word kill in the title. I've learned really bad things happen to your channel with the YouTube algorithm and censorship issues when you upload videos that say kill, so don't do that. Especially after the Logan Paul incident and tasing a dead rat. Right after that happened, a bunch of my videos reviewing electronic mousetraps were age restricted, so thanks Logan. But this looks like a really good trap. It's Wi-Fi certified. You receive kill alerts on your mobile device. It has a 100% kill rate, kills in seconds, a no touch, no see, easy disposal. It has an app you can download for free on Apple Store or Google Play. And its motto is connect, control, and defend. This all sounds really good. Let's take it out of the box and see how it works. Here's what the Victor Smart Kill electronic mousetrap looks like out of the box. It works in a very similar manner to Victor's other electronic mousetraps. I've already posted videos on these. This is the Victor Electronic Pro. This claims it can kill up to three mice in a night, although I was only able to get a single mouse at a time. Here's the old version of the single catch electronic mousetrap. It's a solid piece of plastic. Recently they redesigned this. Even though it worked really well, they made it better. Here's the latest version. I tested this out a few weeks ago and it worked great. It's very similar to this trap. The biggest changes are they redesigned it so it comes apart. You have all the electronics on this side and the kill chamber on this side with dead mice. Occasionally you have to clean it. Now it comes apart, just like Legos. This trap has the same feature. It comes apart, comes together. Over here we have the kill chamber. The door's right here, the mouse goes in goes around a little wall into a second wall. They want to get the bait at the back of the trap. When they touch both metal pads, they receive a lethal shock and die very quickly. The other part of this trap are the batteries. It takes four AA batteries. You pop off the bottom there. I like to use rechargeables. They work well and you can kill a lot of mice with one set of batteries. To arm it, you push this button once. You'll see a green light come on. Now what makes this trap so different is the Wi-Fi. If you want to use the Wi-Fi feature on this trap, you first have to download the app. It's free on Google Play or the App Store. That way, when you kill a mouse in there, you'll receive a notification that you got one. Now, I still use a flip phone, so I have to have my wife download it. Sean asked me to help with this video today because, as some of you may know, he has an old school flip phone and I'm the one that has the smartphone. So this is what it looks like in the App Store. It's called Victor Pest. So we downloaded the app. It's free and it's associated with this trap. You need to have the app so that the trap can notify you via Wi-Fi. So we downloaded the app and it showed up on my phone. And the next thing you do when you open the app, it has you sign in with a username and a password, which you set up. And if you open the app, um, it says here, no traps connected. And you press the little plus button and it says, press the power button on your trap um, and the Victor V will blink green. There it is. Okay, let's go next. Press and hold Wi-Fi button for five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. It's blinking blue. These are all good things. Next. I don't know, <laughs> it's telling me that it wants to access my camera. I'll say it's okay. Scan the trap code. Okay. On the back of this trap here, you can see there's a code and I'm taking my, oh, wow, that was fast. It connected to the trap really quickly and now it's telling me that I need to go to the Wi-Fi settings on my phone. So I just click go to settings and I need to connect to a different connection here, which is this Victor, tons of letters and numbers. And then I guess I go back. Here we go. Then I say next and then we click our personal Wi-Fi. Oh crap. Um, <laughs> our Wi-Fi password is really long. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I entered our super long password and now it says go to settings. And this says setting up Wi-Fi, it may take up to one minute to connect. And we're just hoping all this works because we have kind of crummy internet out here. So hopefully it works. Ooh, what do we want to name this? Enter descriptive name for your trap. Let's call this trap flip. All right. Okay. It's telling us the last activity was just now and that we're all connected. 
Sean's now going to test this out with some steel wool just for a test to see if our Wi-Fi connection is working with Flip. So what I want to do is open up the lid. There's the two metal pads there. I want to put some steel wool on there and see if it sparks and then see what happens with the smartphone. Before I can do that, I can't just leave the lid open because there's a little piece of plastic right here that when closed activates a switch. You can take this apart. Right here is the safety switch inside. When you open this up and look at the electronics, you can see it goes in and out. And if that's pressed in, the trap will work. And if it's out, it will not work. There is a warning right here. It says, do not defeat safety switch, risk of electrical shock. I'm just gonna jam something in there so the switch is depressed. When we open up the door, it will be activated. It's very dangerous if you're not careful, so don't go anywhere near the electrical pads, but let's test it out. The safety switch is now defeated and this will work with the lid up. We'll turn it on. Those metal pads are now hot. This is the same as if the lid was down and a mouse went in there. We're gonna put a little piece of steel wool on there and see what happens. So it went through a full shock cycle. It doesn't shock all night long. It shuts off after a while, just long enough to kill the mouse. The green light is blinking. That indicates that we have a kill. Let's see what the smartphone did. So we're still learning this trap and we had some technical difficulties where we expected a notification right away and that didn't happen. If you're having trouble, Victor does include a tech support line that you can call, but we did get a notification. It says rodent caught. So this did work as connecting to the phone. I'm gonna take this out in my filming studio. It has a Wi-Fi signal out there. And we're gonna see if we can catch a mouse. Daddy needs to check the trap. The phone says so. Yeah. Is that phone say so? You can see that green indicator light flashing, so the trap did work. Let's turn it off, take it outside, and remove the mouse. To remove the mouse, you lift up the lid. There it is. You put it over the garbage and give it a little flip. If you like having the latest, greatest, most advanced technology, the Victor Electronic Smart Kill Mouse Trap is for you. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.